Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the Access a Trader.com uh, nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is doing well. Hope everybody is getting ready for uh, Turkey Day. Uh, tomorrow is a regular session. Uh, Friday, markets close on Thursday, and Friday is a half day. So if you are trading tomorrow, we'll see you tomorrow. If you're not, enjoy the holiday, enjoy your friends, enjoy your family, because again, we only have uh, one life to win. As always, guys, uh, please continue to support the channel. Uh, like, and if you haven't so uh, done so already, subscribe to the channel to continuously uh, keep up the date with the craziness and the greatest reality show that's not on television. So let's talk about it. Last night's video, uh, we talked about you know the only way the market will go higher, okay, is taking out the previous day's channel and building on that channel. We haven't seen that uh, in about uh, you know four or five sessions since we had that really really big ten percent move. You had a little bit of distribution. Uh, the market came in, and the question was, what kind of session was it going to be today? And the the one thing that we do we did know, okay, we knew the ranges uh, for the upside to the downside, and we also knew that the market eventually, okay, eventually, because again, the 50-day moving average is going to be kind of a buffer. Eventually, when the sellers get tired. Uh, we were going to start resuming. The only question was when, right? We didn't know, and we talked about this last night. It was going to be today, tomorrow, next week, or never, because nothing is ever uh, guaranteed. And today started out, you know, pretty slow, as you can imagine. Um, you know, when we're getting closer to, you know, one of the biggest, probably the big biggest uh, holiday travel seasons uh, that we have. So it wasn't really a surprise at the first hour or so two hours or so that the market really wasn't doing anything. I mean, you could really you, could, you really see that. There was some weakness, there was some strength, but it was like, well, okay, just kind of going through the motions. Uh, we'll probably pick up steam some point uh, next week. And, you know, let's see what happens. As, as the kids say, it was a nothing burger, right? And then slowly but surely, the market started coming in, right? If you guys remember, market started coming in today somewhere around, you know, that 10, 30, 11 o'clock area. And the coolest part about technical analysis is there's no surprises, right? We talked about the bottom of the range here that held uh, two out of the last three days. We knew how important this bottom of the range here was. And the question was, well, were the bears finally going to knock down the previous days, previous channels ranges from the, the lows from a few days ago, or were they gonna hold and start moving back higher? And we got that answer pretty, you know, pretty clearly. We got that answer uh, pretty aggressively. And what you started seeing from the earlier part of the day, or even kind of going back to yesterday or the day before, that there was an absolute uh, buyer strike, that they were just still tired, they were still kind of digesting the recent games. Today, we got a definitive message of what's what do we believe is going to happen next? Now we'll get to uh, the individual pivots in a second, but the key for today's session for the bulls were number one, we held the bottom of the range again, as you can see here, the, the area we talked about last night in the video, but here's the most important part, right? If you've been watching this video for a long time or just a brand new watcher, um, I, I love the five day moving average, not for the point of this is the definitive area that I think, um, the market once it reclaims, this is it. This is the you know, this is the start of of something. But usually, it represents for me uh, the five day represents to me the shortest term of who has control of the tape, right? And this was the first close ever since we started this run up here above the 50 day moving average. This is the first time we reclaimed the five day moving average on the close. And if you believe the theory of stocks trade from supply to supply, well then they, they trade from demand to demand. So here's supply. We reclaimed the previous day's channels. We talked about last night in the video what the bulls absolutely needed to do. And the most important part is we continued to build off that level. And here's the first close over the five day moving average since, well, since all the way back up to here. So it's very, very bullish sign uh, going into this uh, session for tomorrow. Uh, SPY, right? Did exactly the same thing. The only difference between the SPYs and the QQQs, you know, the market really just started embracing the, the rising 10-day moving average. And you can see here for three days in a row, it kind of grinded into this green line, the 10-day, the 10-day kept on bouncing, bouncing, and bouncing. And then slowly but surely, it started the breaking out out of this channel here. Uh, really incredible move uh, into the close. 
uh, and now we are setting up for higher prices. Look, is it possible we have a res day tomorrow? Everything is possible, but the point is the fact that the Qs and the SPIs reclaim both the five-day moving average each, it really does show you who has control of at least short-term sentiment. And if we can still muster a rally tomorrow, and this is the first time you're actually hearing me talk about uh, you know, buy-sided uh, buy uh, opinion, because again, the last four or five days, we, we were just digesting uh, digesting the recent gains and taking advantage to the downside. But this is the first time that you could honestly say, you turn around technically and say, hey, look, the, the market, has in, 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 market has digested. It went back about, about a week or so. Uh, it did what it had to do. The distribution's over. They reclaimed the five-day moving average, and now it's time to test recent highs. Raise your hand if, if you're all for that. I'm, I'm, I'm raising my hand uh, as well. So going into tomorrow, again, uh, again, you have to give the bulls the benefit of the doubt. Um, I would love to see a pretty aggressive rally into the recent highs. Um, I think the way we're presently structured right now, uh, you're, you're going to see a lot of people off tomorrow. So that basically means there's not going to be a lot of selling pressure. Again, is it possible the market kind of, re, you know, retracts its steps a little bit today? Sure, everything's possible. There's no, no guarantees. But all the research, and that's kind of what we talk about on a day-to-day -day basis. You're not trying to predict what's going to happen five weeks from now, five, you know, five days from now. You're trying to take the research, what you have right in front of you, right, at the closing bell, and saying to yourself, well, where do, you, I, where do I believe the biggest value is? And if you, if you do believe that indexes are going to pull up um, – pull up uh, individual equity prices, then you have to love the way the market closed, both in the SPIs uh, and the QQQs. And if you start looking at a lot of charts, you'll see what I mean, right? You see Microsoft kind of mirroring the, both the S&P uh, and uh, the QQQs. You see NVIDIA, right? You see NVIDIA, I mean, really good looking charts, right? NVIDIA did, did exactly the same thing, broke this whole downtrend, reclaimed uh, the five, the 10 day moving average. Uh, they were coming for the 160 uh, 160 weeklies, which had a really, really strong move today. And now you have room. If we could just take out this top of the channel here, you got a, you got a potential channel here, 164, and then all the way up to 170. So we're definitely set up a name like Raw Stores, right? Let me before Raw Stores. If you guys remember, uh, we had a c pivot a couple of days ago, right? Walmart. It was, if you take a look at it, it had a big, big move on earnings. It was just kind of going sideways, 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 right? Until it finally took out the earnings highs and started the next leg up. Look at Raw Stores for tomorrow. Right, look at Ross Store, same thing. You had a big move up on earnings, digested it. So if Ross Store starts building above earnings highs, you could get the next leg up. And again, you don't have to be you don't have to be uh, very creative for tomorrow. There's a lot of names that are going to mirror uh, the Nasdaq 100. You got the AMD, the Latin semiconductors looking really good. If you look at the uh, SMHs as a whole, right, you could clearly see we're one channel away. See this top of the channel here. I'll even give you the price. If if the semiconductors start building above. 222.70, right? You see this SMHs? If the SMHs start building above this 222.70, 223, yeah, we got it. We got a shot uh, back at the highs from a couple weeks ago. So we're set up, right? We're set up. Now the question is, can the bulls uh, deliver a day two after a day one reclaiming of a, of, a, of a good supply zone that used to be demand, it was now supply, and now all signals are going, again, to be determined. Uh, I'm gonna trade tomorrow, probably until a little bit after lunch. Just because, again, we, we you know we host Thanksgiving, so got to get the house in order, got to get the food, and blah 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 blah. So uh, I think tomorrow there's Fed minutes coming out at two o'clock. I will be long gone by then. It doesn't really make a difference what they say because again, they just they're talking heads and they're constantly saying things. And I'm, I'm pretty convinced. And I think a lot of you guys as well uh, that they get paid by the word allegedly. Uh, but again, market on the surface, uh, phase value looks good. Let's see what happens after the Fed. But at least we should get a lot of value going into uh, that two o'clock chat. So that's it. I mean, we're, we're pretty much set up here. You don't need to kind of uh, you know, dissect every little thing. Uh, you know, Above supply is bullish, below demand is bearish. Again, we closed uh, first time in a week or so above supply. So again, uh, all systems are go. So let's talk about the tape. Uh, again, not a lot of, I mean, not a lot going on this morning until the ETFs came out. We'll talk about that as well. Uh, Zoom uh, came out with bad earnings. Uh, 72 for builds below can flush, did nothing, went down to like 71.90, pretty much held 72 and reversed. Uh, microchip never got down to the 71.50 area. Crocs way too thin with stock. It had the initial move to like 90 and change and reverse. Uh, TDOC, very small move. Again, all these moves are very small. 
uh, at the open. 27.30 needs to build. Went down to like, you know, 27.80s, I think. Nothing big there. But here's where the market really started picking up steam here. Again, you know, we don't care which way the market confirms. And that's kind of what we try to reiterate over and over and over again, especially in the videos. Um, you know, we just care about the channel confirmation. Here's, uh, here's you know, what we had here. 284.60. We talked about this number uh, last night in the video. 280, uh, 280.70 to the downside. So 284.60 up, 280.70 down. Channels are of importance. And the Qs finally got above, right? Finally got above uh, the 284.60 level. Traded all the way up to 286. Pretty much closed at the highs. As you can see, we're setting up for higher prices. Really good move there. Uh, LIT never got down here. Um, I actually scalped this crowd. The crowd wasn't bad. 134.80, if it, uh, 134.38 if it builds below can flush. Yeah, it went down about a couple of bucks you know, pretty quickly. Not a bad tr trade. Nothing nothing crazy, but no, nothing bad as well. Uh, Microf Microsoft looks great. Uh, it, con it confirmed uh, towards the end of the day, 144.70 needs to build. Not the biggest move yet yet is the optimum word, but it took out the, the 244.70 when traded up to set a 245.30s. But this thing is, if it confirms today's channels, this thing could really rip uh, tomorrow with everything else. And here is definitely uh, the big, uh, the absolute uh, big move of the day. Uh, this is again, this was, um, uh, this was 244.70. This is Microsoft. I actually put in the wrong price. Uh, this morning, 109 uh, builds below could flush. Only went down like 20 cents. Uh, Tesla never took the upside and never confirmed the upside down. It only went down like a dollar and change. Nothing big there. Again, it was really, really dead action in the morning until the spy started confirming, until the queue started confirming. That's when everything lit up. And that's where uh, we believe it's going to continue for tomorrow. Here was definitely the biggest uh, move of the day. And, you know, great, a phenomenal move. And again, everybody should be uh, holding a runner. Uh, 397.85 needs to confirm daily. Once this happened, everything went. And here again, here was the spies. Right here is the spies. The spies reclaimed this whole channel here, right? You see the high here, two, uh, 397.78, right? The high on 11.16, uh, 397.81, the high on 11.18. And again, here's the point. You know, if they can start rebuilding 397.85, that's the top of the range, uh, the, the spies can go and the spies exploded, it went all the way up to 400. Again, if they confirm that 400 area, I do believe there's a shot we get to this 402, which were the recent highs. So that's it. We're set up, man. You don't have to be very creative. Uh, go through the NASDAQ 100s. Uh, semiconductors look good. Obviously, Microsoft looks really good. Uh, spies look good. So, you know, look at the components in the spies. Look at the components in the semiconductors. And if you do your research, you'll find some really great value. Once again, guys, I appreciate all your support. I wish everybody nothing but the best. Happy holidays. Happy early start of your holidays. Happy Thanksgiving. And with God's help, I will see you all soon. Take care.